Sub-Saharan Africa is overshadowed by an insect which transmits a killing disease to animals and people. This insect is the tete fly. It is one of the major obstacles to agriculture, cattle breeding and causes widespread suffering, poverty and hunger. The sterile insect technique or SIT is the critical component of eliminating the tete fly. Millions of insects are reared under controlled conditions. The male flies are sterilized by being exposed for a few minutes to radiation in a gamma chamber. Sterile male flies are released into the wild. They are able to mate but cannot sustain a reproductive cycle. No offspring is produced, the wild population dwindles and eventually dies out. Eradication of tete flies on the island of Zanzibar opened the door to animal husbandry. The moment the tete fly is eliminated, cows are back in farmers' households. New horizons open up for animal breeding. The local low-yield zebu is cross-bred with the best milk cows. This new variety can produce an average of 15 liters of milk a day. Farmer's household gets an immediate benefit, a jar of milk for every child. The rest goes to the market. The new class of dairy product entrepreneurs gets a foothold in the business, important for an island which thrives on tourism. The draft animals are back in small plots of land where you can plow with animal traction only. All things considered, eradication of the killer fly can increase food production by a factor of 10, even with subsistence farmers. 